Hello friends, I'm here once again with a new video which talks about conditional formatting and data validation. Here, I'm going to talk about a limitation of dependent list which I have discussed in my last video. In my last video, if you remember, we have learned how do we create a data validation list and the dependent list. Here, the list in this column depends on the previous column. Like, here if I select Arizona, then I only get to see the cities which belongs to AZ, that is Arizona city, state. However, the moment I change this Arizona to California, I see the cities which belongs to California. But there was one glitch in this uh, data validation list. Here, like I mentioned earlier, if I change the state to any other state now, just take a look here, it is California and Los Angeles belongs to California, like it is here. But if I change this to uh, Colorado, then here, this Los Angeles now does not belong to Colorado. So users should get some kind of prompt that this is an incorrect value. Having said that, I do not mean that it will it is going to give you a pop-up box, but it should highlight that cell with some color. Uh, which tells user, which should tell user that this is an incorrect value. Otherwise, at least it should disappear. Either of these two things it can serve my purpose. But the problem now here is that it still shows the correct value. That means since I've changed this value, uh, this cell value to any other state, this still is. I mean, it still looks that it is a correct value. So here, in order to solve this problem. I'm going to use conditional formatting. But before I go ahead and use conditional formatting, I would like to explain the formula that I'm going to use in that condi conditional formatting. If you take a look here, if I talk about Lincoln City, how many times does it appear in this state? If I look here, Lincoln appears once. But if I change that Nevada to Illinois, now let's Understand once again how many times this Lincoln appears in Illinois state. If you look at this range, you will not find Lincoln in Illinois. So the count of this value will be zero. Now if the count comes out as zero, that means the combination of state and city is not correct and that should be highlighted. Since it should be highlighted, we are going to give some kind of conditional formatting. So let's discuss the formula now here. I use a simple count if function. When I use count if function, it is asking me for a range. Now, how will I determine the range? If you remember my last video, in our last video, we discussed indirect function in detail. So here, I'm going to use indirect function once again. So indirect of, I want to count this Lincoln City in this range, that is Illinois. Now, what I'm doing is, I'm counting Illinois, the entire, Lincoln in the entire range of Illinois. So, index function is going to convert this IL into its reference, that is, its name range, this range. Okay? So, here, after I select indirect of A9, comma, now the criteria is, in this Illinois range, I want to count the city, that is Lincoln. So now people, you will notice that it will give me the answer as zero because Lincoln does not belong to Illinois. The moment I change this city to any city that belongs to Illinois, the output will be one. So here, whenever we are getting one, that means that is a correct combination and whenever we get zero, that means that is an incorrect combination. But the problem with this approach now is this ones and zeros is not going to help me in conditional formatting because conditional formatting is decided based on the output of the formula and the output of the formula has to be either true or false. So we have to convert the zeros and ones in true and false. If the output or the count is equal to one, that means the city and state combination is correct. So conditional formatting should not be applied. Hence. Since the condition formatting must not be applied, the output of this one should be false. That means this one should be converted to false and zero should be converted to true. So here I'm just going to compare this 
will equal to 1 or not. That means if the I am just going to check if the count is 0 or not. So if the count is 0, condition formatting should be applied. So what I'm what I've done here, I've compared that value with 0. So if it is 0, then conditional formatting should be applied. Here I'm getting false. That means this city and state combination is correct. Now I'll just change that to Missouri. Now see the city and state combination is not correct and hence it is true. So now friends I'm going to use the same formula in my indirect sorry in my conditional formatting. So let's use the same formula. I'll select the range. I go to home conditional formatting new rule use a formula to determine which cells to format and here after equal to I'll copy paste the same formula so friends it is the same formula that we have written here and now the formatting can be done in two different ways in 2007 and 2010 let me tell you first uh, these the formatting that can be given in 2007 so I go to format and here I highlight this color and I click OK and OK. Now right, you will notice that Chicago and Los Angeles have got highlighted in red color. So that means this combination as well as this combination is not correct. So let me now check Los Angeles in this state. Los Angeles does not belong to the state. So here this is incorrect. I'll change this to Fort Wayne and this Missouri uh, Chicago I'll change it to Kansas City. But the moment I change it, it is going to highlight that color. Now people like I mentioned, there is a different way uh, you can also hide this in 2010. I have checked that but for some reason, for some unknown reason the same step does not work in 2007 properly but it does work in 2010 and that is I am going to edit the conditional formatting once again. Here I select that go to manage rule in order to edit the conditional formatting and here I go to edit rule when I go to edit rule here I select no color because I do not want this to be highlighted with a color this time I want this cell value should disappear now I go to number formatting I go to custom and here I will replace this general with 3 semicolon in order to understand more on this three, these three semicolon, you can watch my video, which is again available on YouTube. I'll pay, put three semicolon. I click OK, OK, apply, and OK. Oops, I think I've done a mistake here. Uh, well, this can be rectified by clearing the conditional formatting. I used no color over there, and that was my mistake. Let me explain it again. I go to uh, conditional formatting, manage rules. And here, when I click on edit rule, and uh, then I again go to format, here, instead of using no color, I should have cleared the formatting. Now here, clearing this formatting means I'm not going to apply any background color to these range of cells. But my number formatting, that is those three semicolons, will remain there as it is. So, I click now OK, and OK, apply, and OK. So, I'm done here. So if I select the incorrect city, I get the values hidden. So friends, here I have discussed two different ways to do it in 2007 and 10, as well as two different methods to highlight the incorrect combination. Hope this will help you. Thank you very much.